Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I, I, I gotta stand up for this one, guys. I gotta stand up. I, I, I caught, I caught the, I caught the upset, but, oh my lord. Mungia made a statement <clears throat> in this fight. Wow. He took this fight on two weeks' notice, guys. Two weeks' notice. In hindsight, it, do, it, do, it doesn't look like he was a good replacement for Beefy Smith, does it? <laughs> oh, but, uh, maybe, not, we, maybe we got the next Mexican superstar in the making right here. 29-0 now. 25 knockouts. This guy can crack. He knocked down Ali twice in the first round. It, in the first couple seconds, Ali was, you know, throwing his little flashy combinations. I was like, okay. Um, I predicted that Ali would win the first couple of rounds. He would be too fast. And that's what it looked like it was going to be. But uh, Mungia lands his first punch, a left hook. Boom. Ali goes down. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I got hyped, guys. I got hyped. I was like, okay. And Ali was hurt. Drops him again in the first. I was like, this fight's over. This fight's over. He lasts the first round. Second round comes. Every punch that Mugia lands hurts Ali. Drops him again in the second round. Ali gets up. Ali showed a lot of heart, man. Ali took a lot of punishment. And he kept bouncing off. Bouncing off the canvas. Got dropped four times. Third round, he didn't get knocked out. Fourth round. The, after the third round, the referee, I think he was threatening to stop the fight. Ali's corner was like, no, no, no. Terrible corner. Everybody says that. Ali's corner should have stopped this fight, that they did a horrible job. The referee should have stopped it after the third round, but his corner didn't let him. It's a brave corner. That, that's dangerous. A brave corner is a dangerous corner. Come the fourth round, he gets dropped again. Ali bounces off the canvas, but the referee calls it off. And thank the Lord for Ali because he was getting worked. He was getting beat up. Mungia could crack. He's a bigger fighter. He's a finisher. Like I said, if if Mungia hurts Ali, he's not gonna let him go. He didn't let him go this whole fight. Ali landed some good punches in the third round, but that was it. That that was every, that was everything that Ali did. Mungia's bad. I, I knew he was bad. <laughs> But, oh man, I did not expect this. I did not expect a beating. Like, he beat him like he stole something. Broner, say, Broner would say he beat him like Martin Luther King. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Mugi is a top guy, and he said something in the post-fight interview that I love. He said, now... That now that I'm champion, I know I have to work harder. I love that. I love that attitude. It shows to me that this young man is hungry and he wants to be great and he's ready for anybody. He so he says he'll fight anybody in this division. I have a suggestion. The Black Margarito himself. Let's make it happen. Mexicans for Jerry Heard. Mexicans for Heard versus Mungia. Imagine, imagine that fight. But any guy at 154, it's not, there's a lot of talent. I don't know if I would call it a packed division, but there's a lot of talent. You, you, if you call it pack, I won't argue with you, but it's a very good division. Julian Williams, Eric Lubin, I know he just got knocked out first round by Charlo, but he, he's still a good fighter. Charlo. Trout, Charlie and Trout are gonna fight. Maybe he could fight the winner of that. That it's a good division, man. A any of those fights, I would love to see. He's no longer a prospect. He's no longer a contender. Yes, he's twenty-one years old, but he's a world champion. He just beat 
a world champion that beat a future Hall of Famer. Let's get him in with the best of this division. Let's get it. And I love that this is his third fight this year. Let's keep him active. It's barely May. Maybe he can fight two more times. And let's keep him fighting at least four, three to four times a year. Please, he's 21 years old. Let's keep him active. Fighting four times a year would be amazing. A fight with Kamagai would be awesome. Or a fight with Rosado. Let's, let's make these fights happen. He can still fight on, on um, Ted Azteca. That, that would be so cool. Oh, man. This this changes Mexican boxing, man. We got Gallo and we got Jaime Munguia. We got David Benavides. These are good. These are good fighters. I was gonna say Uskategi, but I think he's Colombian. But th these guys are good, man. Uh, me Mexican boxing is in a good place. Doesn't matter that that ginger is that ginger is not in the mix at the moment. It's in a good place. Jaime Munguia is the goods, man. He's the truth. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Peace. Who should, who should Munguia fight next? Who should he fight next? Peace.